Hi everyone, Richard here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my YouTube channel all about photography and I am on a current adventure to explore landscape and outdoor photography, but I also do the odd Lightroom and editing video. And that's what we have today, a quick video about how you can export your photos in Lightroom Classic and save the settings as presets so that next time you need to export any of your photos for the same reason, whether it be for YouTube, uh, for um, yeah, YouTube, uh, if you want to put a photo in your YouTube video or Facebook, Instagram, clients, websites, you can save presets for all of those different things. The so next time you want to export photos for those things, you can just click on a couple of buttons and it will export with exactly the same settings every single time. So let's jump straight into Lightroom and I'll show you how it all works. And it's only going to take a couple of minutes. Welcome to Lightroom. These are a few photos that I have taken on my last wander around the new forest. Uh, you can see there's a mixture of raw files and TIFF files. The TIFF ones are just ones that have gone through Photoshop for maybe a focus stack or something like that. But let's get into this straight away so it doesn't take too long. So let's say I want to, Im to export four of these eight. We're going to highlight all four and then as normal we will go to File, Export. Um, I already have, as you can see here, loads of presets set up. I'm going to set up a new one now just so that everyone can see how it all works and how it comes together. So there's lots of lots of options here which involve your export location, file naming, file settings, image sizing, all these things that are very much personal depending on what you're saving them for. So I'm going to pretend that I'm doing this for my website. So. I want, to nav I want to make sure that I put these photos in a folder I have called export, then delete. All that means is when I have done what I need to do with those photos, i.e. I've uploaded them to my website server or my website's host, I can then go back into that folder and empty that folder. And I know that I'm not cluttering up my hard drive with photos that, I've, that have served their purpose. So export, then delete is the folder I'm going to use. And if we just quickly scroll down here, not to take up too much time, I'm not going to rename them on this occasion. I'd normally rename them within Lightroom. File settings here. I want this file size to be really small so it doesn't take up loads of space on my website. I've got my own resize dimensions that I like, a little bit of sharpening for screen um, and some other options there that you can choose whether or not you want them. So once you've done everything there, all you need to do is come down here to the bottom of this pop-up window where it says add, click on add, and you get this other pop-up box. I am going to call this export for website. And so I know that that preset is always going to be called export for website. And next time I want to export some photos for my website, I just need to click on that name, knowing that I will get exactly the settings I want. You have these folders down the left hand side, Lightroom presets, 2024, master, blah, blah, blah. And at the bottom here we have user presets, which is empty. Uh, so I'm going to just save this preset in that folder for the time being and I'm going to click on create. So I now have a preset called export for website which has all the settings that I've just set up. Uh, one at the bottom here which is a really good um, setting to have is post processing basically means what are you going to do, what do you want the system to do after you've exported it. I always say show in finder and then I have them straight away so that's going to bring me a pop-up window in my finder. So I'm going to click on export and in top left hand corner we can see it doing its thing. It's exporting four files. And as asked, it's given me the pop-up window of Finder and it's got these four images here that I've exported. I'm now going to drag those into my website. I've done what I need. I've posted my new blog post or whatever. I don't need these photos with these dimensions anymore. So I am just going to delete them and we're back in Lightroom. So now let's say a week goes by, you do another job, you do another um, landscape shoot, you want to add some more images to your website, you can then highlight those images that you want to export. So I've just highlighted the other four in this folder for the time being. Um, and again, I'm going to go to File, but before, we're not just going to jump straight into this export. Actually, yes, we are. We're going to go in here and we can see the, the preset that I set up down here under User Presets, Export for Websites. So all I'd have to do, I'm talking really quickly, aren't I? I will slow down, I get excited. <laughs> um, so here we are, we've got this user preset here, export for website, uh, and it's gonna go to the export and delete folder, and all the settings are the same. It's gonna give you the pop-up window. You can change any of these if you wanted to change it to high or to low, or you wanted to change the file size to give you a slightly better quality. But I don't because this is a preset and I wanna use exactly the same settings. So I am now gonna click on export. It's going to run through exactly the same process, 
but I've got those settings there ready to go again. And there are those four images and I can put them in the website and do whatever I need to do with those four photos. I'm gonna quickly move that to bin because I'm gonna go back to Lightroom and I can show you where you can make it even quicker. Because if you click on file, yes, you've got the export here. Um, you've got export with previous, which will repeat the same export settings, but you've also got export with presets. All the presets that you've set up and you can see that I've got probably too many and I should probably try and trim these down a bit. But right at the bottom here is the export for website preset that we've just set up. Um, and I would then, if this is another website shoot, I can click on uh, export for website. Oh, there we are, there we are. Export for website. That will export those four photos. Or perhaps I want to add these photos to a YouTube video, in which case I will click on this preset here that telling me that I've edited these photos for a YouTube video and it will export with a long edge of 4,000 pixels because the videos I do now are 4K. So I want to give, I don't want to put a low res image in a 4K video. So I make sure that it exports it as the long edge 4000. And if you're not quite sure where that is, here I can say long edge 4000 pixels. Um, and that's what I've saved the preset as. So if I go into that preset, which was under master, uh, yeah, edited there. So I want to say, right, well, I don't want the file size to be any bigger than one meg but this time I want the file, uh, the dimensions to have a long edge of 4,000 pixels. Um, and again, showing Finder, maybe I want to export it to my social blog, but I want it to be slightly larger. So I click on this preset and that limits the file size to 250K as opposed to 150K. And there's lots of other presets that I have here, but this is just to show you how you can tailor the settings in all these boxes here and all these panels here, and then just save the preset as something else. So the next time you do an export for that reason, you can just click on the preset and it exports it straight to the folder that you've told it to. And it will be the same for every single export for the every time you use that preset. So like I said, you could have an export for your website, which will always give you a small file size. You could have an export for your clients, which will always give you a large, you know, whatever file size you supply to your clients, whether that be the full size, or maybe you just give them a 6,000 by 4,000, you know, it depends on the resolution of your camera, things like that. Uh, you can tick that you can have one set up for maybe website with a watermark or without a watermark, or you could set it up with different sizes for your website if you want to. So you could set up lots of presets like I have, easy to get overwhelmed with it and set up loads, which is probably why I need to go and tidy them up. But there we go, starting to waffle. I hope that was useful. Stay tuned, there's videos coming up probably in a week's time, next Wednesday, about another great Lightroom tip that I have that I had a question on, which I will pop here. And that's it, I think, all done. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all the things that you can do which would really, really help the channel get more eyes on my videos for those that wanna see the Lightroom and outdoor photography things. And stay tuned for a amazing trip into the forest on Friday that I've already done and that video will be released on, um, sorry, last Friday I went out, it's gonna be released this Sunday. Um, and that's it, thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye.